Hey, what's good, Pizza Holics? I'm in the Lower East Side, baby, and behind me is one of the new kids on the block, Uncle Sam's Pizza. Better than Prince Street. I met a few customers in the place. They're all saying better than Prince Street. I also got some plain cheesies. What do you say we go eat, guys? All right, let's get a brief glimpse before I scarf him down, folks. There we have it, guys. Got the cheese slices and their famous top seller, the spicy pepperoni square. Windy, a little breezy out today. I'm gonna grab the cheese slice first, guys. It is very crispy on the outside. Uh, not the thinnest pizza in the world. I like that, I like that base. Base looks nice, a little flop, but is it crispy? You can flop all you want, as long as it's crispy. Balance, cheese, sauce. Uh, looks heavier on the cheese side than sauce. It's very heavy on the cheese side. Uh, let's give it a shot, let's, just, let's taste it. Sauce is a little acidic. Mm. Very easy to make up my mind with that one. All right, guys, here's their top seller. Nice dark brown bake on the base there. Smells pretty good. I'm enjoying this one better. It's not perfect, but the sauce is way different on this pizza than the plain, than on the round. Way different. Zesty, man. I can see why it's so popular. I got some issues with it. Uncle Sam's Pizza. Is it the big brother of them all? All right, guys. What do you say we move into the lab and get a closer look at Uncle Sam's Pizza? Is it big brother of them all? Is it the big brother of them all? Is the spicy pepperoni the big brother of them all? Like everybody's been saying, I want to start with the cheese first. We always start with the standard cheese pizza. Good old New York style, made in the quintessential gas-fired form. Uh, unfortunately, not one of the best forms and uh, versions of it, uh, in my opinion, guys. And I'm going to tell you why, guys. So first and foremost, uh, cheese kind of takes over, and the sauce takes the uh, back seat here. It's a little sweet and sour, the, the, the sauce, guys. Uh, it looks like there is some grated stuff on there, as you can see. Maybe they do dust something onto that sauce, but uh, probably very little. And I didn't really taste any good sharp funk from any grated cheese into the mix. The low moisture mozz isn't the worst in the world. I just think that it needed a little better balance. Regardless, even if I did enjoy the sauce more than I did, uh, the crust is not to my liking, guys. I think it's not balanced enough. As you can see, it's, it's not the most pliable. It's extremely crunchy. It's extremely crunchy, but it, look, it's falling apart. Look at that. It's like a bar pizza. It's falling apart. Uh, you know, I want a nice soft middle, and this is just all crunch. Exterior crunch, interior crunch. It's very crunchy. Uh, I didn't get the crispy first bite because of all that cheese probably weighed it down, but as you get towards the back end, you're gonna get some really, really intense underside crunch. Not just underside crunch, but total crunch. And I, I don't like crust like this, guys, I really don't. And not to mention, uh, it's pretty, look at that. This isn't because it, it was reheated, it's just under sauced, guys. You, I want nice, 
I want that. I want that right there all over the place. Towards the end of the cornichone from front to the back. And we don't have that there. Um, looks like it just pulled up. The sauce kind of pulled up in the middle there. This was a little better. Yeah, I enjoyed this. The pepperoni is of, of pretty good quality, as you can see. Look at that. Oh, man. Nice char, charred pepperoni. Nothing like charred pepperoni along the edges. Look at the grease pooling up there. Cupped up pepperoni cups holding its own greasy, greasy goodness. That ain't cheap, cheesy greasiness. That's some greasy goodness right there, guys. Very high quality pepperoni. Uh, the crust was decent. Not the best in the world, uh, but it was very light. As you can see, guys, there is some significant aeration, some very moderate, uh, too significant aeration. It was very light. I got crisp from first bite to last. Decent dark brown bake on the bottom. Dimples. Look at the dimples. But uh, look at the color of that tomato. Very akin to Prince Street. A dark, almost like a barbecue sauce. And, you know, I'm not crazy about that, but it, it kind of works with the, the, the spicy pepperoni. I mean, let's face it. Pork and sweetness goes hand in hand. And uh, nothing wrong with a sweet, thick sauce. Like a barbecue sauce, perhaps from some paste or maybe some sugar added to it. It was on the sweet side. My issue was uh, I don't mind all the herbs. I love an herbaceous sauce. You know that, guys. I just didn't get any natural savory tomato flavor. Look at the difference in color, too. Different sauces for these pizzas. Absolutely. And I'm not crazy about both of them, despite them being very different from each other. Uh, yeah. Get this, guys. Get it. All right, guys. It's about that time. The pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. Uh, I'm not expecting much here, guys, except that as it cooled down... The crust completely is it's completely falling apart. It's like a thick bar pie. This crust is just not my it's not what I prefer. Uh, it's holding its shape now, unlike before when it was hot. The crust didn't have the greatest taste. Who knows if they added sugar to the mix to speed up the, the rise. It's very much uh, high rise crust. And uh, a step above dollar level though, a step above dollar pizza. So I'm gonna go 6.6 uh, .6 for Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, you gotta do a better job if you're gonna win the hearts of your people. <laughs> I was impressed with this one. Crust is very different. Check that out guys, very aerated. I, I like the crisp from first bite, middle bite, last bite, all crisp all around, but also very balanced. They had a slightly soft center, it was nice and airy. Good underside crunch. Uh, the chew wasn't too bad, it wasn't, it wasn't a heavy chew at all. Uh, the cheese, I, I forgot to talk about the mozzarella on this thing. Not the most quality uh, when it comes to the fresh mozzarella. It's stiffened up, it's kind of plasticky, it's that dry mozzarella. Mozzarella, fresh mozzarella has to have moisture in it. 7-7, I mean, seven, 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 seven. it's not better than Prince Street. The crust is not as good as Prince Street. And uh, the pepperoni cups, not as much. So on a spicy pepperoni, you gotta pile that thing up, man. You gotta pile up that pepperoni on a spicy pepperoni like they do with Prince Street. They pour a ton of that stuff on there. And this goes on a specialty scale, obviously. Those pepperonis are delicious, man. Is this the best spicy, spicy pepperoni? Oh, it's spicy. A lot of back end spice. Hit the throat just now. Is it the best? No. Village Square is my favorite spicy pepperoni in the city. Village Square. Oh, Prince Street's up there. I gave that a good score. But uh, this... I'd say come here if it was a little cheaper. It's still as expensive as Prince Street. I paid eighteen dollars for four slices. For these four slices, eighteen bucks. Uncle Sam, baby. Uncle Sam, tax it my ass. Well, guys, that about does it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Oh, look at this place. 
1913 synagogue. Guys, if you can, smash that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the join button if you want to support the channel, become a member and have access to exclusive content. Uh, you can always donate by hitting the PayPal button on my cover photo. It helps donate to the cause and get my ass into the traffic, into the city more. And beyond, I'm going to go do a lot of Bronx stuff, more Philadelphia coming up soon, Boston maybe, as the weather turns and gets nicer. Hit that like, guys. Thanks for the support. Talk to you guys in the comments section. Until next time, keep those bellies full, folks. This is Antonio, signing off.